because we have the decorative arcs. Wait, I would call them arches, not decorative arcs. Arc. <laughs> they're not arches though. They're they're like this. Is that an arc? Arc. I think of Noah. I think it's an arc. It might be. Like, but not build him an archy archy. <laughs> My oldest son is moving out of the house and I'm turning his room into a guest room and I've got family coming over for the holidays. So this bed right here is taking priority on my project list. We built this bed for under $200 with minimal tools and framing lumber. Wait till you see how it comes together. So let's go build it. Let's do it. So the first step is to plank the headboard and I'm using two by eight boards for these because they're super affordable. I've ripped down both edges of the boards to get the round pieces off and so that technically makes these two by sevens because they're seven inches wide. I have already drilled one and a half inch pocket holes on one end to plank them together except for a couple of boards at the very end and you'll see why. So we are attaching these boards using two and a half inch pocket hole screws. And we're using our big Craig clamp, the face clamp. And it's just like we do for our tabletops. We're putting two boards together and using that clamp to hold them in place so we get a nice flush straight edge. And then we will come in with our pocket hole screws. These are blue coat screws, which means you can use them outdoor also. I love using them on all my builds because they're just, they're just so good. Perfect. So I get my first one done and we're just gonna work our way down. Ashley's, Ashley's helping me out over there. She's not wasting any time today. Shanny tip, when you've got a big bed to build, you bring it over to your sister's house and shoot a video for it. Okay. So we've got the first two done. We're just gonna keep adding planks as we work our way up. So we've got all the planks except for the last one and I am going to be cutting the corners off in a round design. Um, so I don't need all these pocket holes when I cut it off. So I was waiting on this one to mark where I need the pocket holes. And we're just gonna need a few on this top board. So let me mark it and then, so we know we need to be inside of that. Inside of the arc? inside of the arc. Okay, so I'm gonna go drill a couple pocket holes in this. Okay, so I've already marked where to put the pocket holes and we are using the Craig 720 Pro. This is our very favorite Craig jig model. I'm gonna clamp it first. I'm drilling one and a half inch pocket holes and what we love so much about this pocket hole jig is that it just makes drilling pocket holes so much faster. You don't have to switch between, if you're switching between one buys and two buys, the clamp will do it for you. So there's just very little adjustments that need to be made. So it just makes it so much faster. So I have drilled the final pocket holes. We're gonna attach it to our headboard and then we'll get to the fun part. It's gonna be really fun. Already looking forward to it. Just you wait. All right, so we are attaching these using two and a half inch pocket hole screws. All right, so. The headboard is planked. Now I've got a design for the top. I want to cut some arcs on each corner to cut the corners off. I just think it'll look really pretty and modern. So we are going to go ahead and draw those with twine and a pencil. I've got scissors. Oh, no, I don't. My kids we stole need a them. Jigsaw. No, oh, no, they're right here. <laughs> go down about an inch and over an inch at the top corners. And that's where I'm going to start. So I'm also marking 16 inches over because that's where I want to start and 16 down because that's where I want my arcs to finish off. What if this is not an arc? That was my question. We don't know for sure that the <laughs> term arc is correct, but I, th I think it is. I'm Googling. It's an arch or an arc or uh, it's an inverted arch. I think it's an arc, not A-R-K, but A-R-C. An arc is a curve. Build him an arcy, arcy. <laughs> That's I told great. you. Yeah. Ashley? I, hey, I was a math whiz. I was, well, is it math? Is that what it is? Yeah, geometry, <laughs> right? Geometry. You say so. 
Okay, so I've put a pocket hole screw just right there in the back, so you're not gonna see this once it's done. And I'm tying a piece of twine around it. And this is just gonna help me draw the arc, since we have confirmed that it is arc. That's right. Now there's probably another fancy tool for woodworkers um, that's not twine and a But you're not screw. a woodworker, so this is, this is, this is good. I'm not. I have my fancy arc, arc maker. maker. Okay, here we go. Would you look at that? <laughs> the arcness. <laughs> That's quite the arc. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do it to the other side because I'm too scared to just cut it with a jigsaw right now. <laughs> All right, we're drawing another arc. Crikey, would you look at that? <laughs> that is the most beautiful arc I've ever seen. <laughs> Prior to cutting it, <laughs> right? <laughs> now, okay, so now our arcs are drawn and I'm going to use a jigsaw with a, what did we do, a TPI so we of We did six. a TPI of six because we've read that using a low TPI makes a better cut when you're going through two buys. And we're gonna let, the, we're gonna let, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. We're gonna let the jigsaw do the work because if not, Hopefully. the blade is gonna start to bend. So we're gonna give this a try. T typically when I am cutting a circle on two buys, I use my plunge router, but I could not figure out a safe way to do that with this design. So we're Well, that was using... good of you being safe like that too, you know? Yeah, call me Safety Ashley. I know. Okay, I'm gonna so... go ahead and clamp it to make it even safer for Safety Ashley. Yes. I'm also gonna let Ashley cut it to make it safer for Whitney. We're using a low TPI. We don't have any other options, so. And this, if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna take these top three boards off and do a rectangle headboard. <laughs> There's always a plan C and D. A few inches later. I think it's actually working. And if it does, I'm gonna be really happy. But what I'm, do what I'm trying to focus on is just letting the blade do the work and guide my hands instead of pushing it. This actually looks really good. I'm happy with the way I did it. Um, some of you seasoned woodworkers that have a better idea of how to get this arch design on a bed with two buys, let me know. Um, this was the best I could come up with and the safest. So now I'm going to do the other side the exact same way. And Jeffrey's doing time lapse. Okay, so at this point we have our arcs cut and we're just gonna add a few furring strips. You can also use one bias for this part along the back just to support everything since this is a taller and heavier headboard. We are adding these because it will add some support to the back and also give us an extra point of attachment on the actual frame of the bed. We're also adding them because when Ashley was planning this she forgot about it, so we're just adding it now. So. So you, you design things on SketchUp and it all works on, on a model, but then when you actually think about it in real life, you're like, that's not gonna be very sturdy. And we're just attaching these with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Runners, take your marks. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Headboard is done. We're gonna move this guy out of the way, but let's look at it first. Now we're gonna bring the boards in and start working on the frame. Sweet! This oh, is it's heavy. So heavy. It's cute. It's cute, I like it a lot. Now we're building the frame of the bed. This is a full-size bed, and it is also using two by eights that I ripped down to seven inches. We have drilled one and a half inch pocket holes at each of the long ends. Those are gonna be the side rails, and then we've got the footboard and uh, the headboard piece um, right there. So we're just gonna attach them together. Cool. With, with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. Done and done. And Thank side you. note, I found these cute guys on Amazon, I'll add a link. So these are the feet that we're gonna use for the bed to lift it up off the ground, and I'm so excited about them. I think they're super cute. Cinnamon Toast Crunch with 
mini marshmallows and white chocolate and dark chocolate drizzle. Um, that sounds delicious. It was so good. All right, so we've got the frame of the base built and now Ashley's going to attach the really cute feet. So we have this upside down right now and they have, so this came with hardware to attach and everything. That's not gonna work for the bed that we're building. Um, and I think it'll be stronger if we do it this way anyway. We are using four inch screws with wood glue and we are attaching them from the leg and into the runners. Perfect. So what we're using are four inch GRK screws. These things are awesome. They're self tapping. They Those don't are split depot, the wood. Right? Uh, yeah, I think they're at Depot. They're awesome. But I had four inch ones and it just worked out quite perfectly. So now we're doing this. And so we started two of them. Good. That's tight. Tight. That's tight. Tight. It's very taut. It's taut. Right, that's that's not going go nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Should I test it out? <laughs> Liberty. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> we're good. Next. Okay. Oh yeah. He ain't going anywhere. Nope. We get so many questions about, do I need a box spring with your bed plans or can I use a box spring? And the answer is yes. For every one of our bed plans, you can use a box spring or you don't have to use one. So it all depends on if you're gonna use the box spring, you'll put these cleats a little bit lower down into the frame if you are not using a box spring. You will just put them three quarters of an inch. <laughs> You'll just put them three quarters of an inch from the top and then run the slats um, right there and that serves as a box spring. And if you are using a box spring, I always still, like on my bed, I have a box spring. I still have the slats on the bottom for support. It's just down inside of the frame. So. We are attaching, I'm going to go ahead and mark three quarters of an inch down and we're going to attach these cleats to the inside of these side rails with wood screws and wood glue. So we have both of the outside cleats on and we're adding a center cleat for extra support. This one I have drilled two and a half inch pocket holes at both ends. One and, and a half inch. This one, I have drilled <laughs> one and a half inch pocket holes at both ends, and we're just gonna put it center-ish with the pocket holes facing up. So we're adding just a little bit of wood glue on each end, if I can get my, my bots. It's because we've been building so much today, Ash. We're quite the builders. Um, I have a home gym. <laughs> oh, nice, Whitney. <laughs> Excuse me. Taught. <laughs> that wasn't funny. <laughs> that was in, it was inappropriate. So we have our headboard in place with the bed frame. And I gotta say, Ash, this is pretty darn cute. Thank you, I actually questioned it halfway through the build, but I'm really <laughs> happy with how it turned out. I've gotta get this back to my house and it's not gonna fit on the trailer if it's completely assembled. So I'm gonna break it down, take it home, give it a stain, put it up in the room and I can't wait for you guys to see it. What was the total cost of this, do you know? It was under $200, I think it was around one fifty, Which is pretty awesome for a full size bed. So. Absolutely. Well done, sister. Thank you. All right, y'all be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss another shampoo build. Somebody's She's trying to be it. a producer right now. Sorry. Well, so sorry. I... Know your place. Into a guest room and I've got, oh my gosh, okay. My oldest son is out of the house and I'm turning in, oh my gosh, okay. All right. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Cough, okay. Whitney, cough. Okay, so we, <laughs> I put that there. <laughs> it's fine. All right, I, okay. Okay. Oh, into it. gosh, you're you know, smart. I never have you here to help, so we may as well take Everybody advantage. needs a Whitney. That's right. That's what they keep saying. This is the back, anyway. <laughs> we keep saying that about everything. You, you won't see it anyway. It doesn't matter. There's actually not a front. I mean, it is what it is. It's not getting any better. Yeah, it's not that bad. And we're going to let... We're going to let... I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Just, it's our commentary that's so good. <laughs> All right, so we have... Mm -mm. Yes, yeah, she is. Sorry. 
Okay. Because I. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I do not have a grip. Hold Sorry. on. Sorry. How are you? Okay. Ready? I'm one, two, three. Using my grip strength, but I have a home gym, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moving because I'm, oh! <laughs> That's gonna leave a ding. That was a dinger.